This is the uh, box office of the Tampa Theater, and uh, the, the building is, I believe, 87 years old now. And uh, the, the marble work, which was beautiful in the day, has really shown some wear, some cracking, some settlement. And uh, my company has offered to uh, restore it, bring it, you know, structurally and, and, and cosmetically up to, back up to, to standard. The Tampa Theater is such an incredible gem and such a treasure for our area that uh, it'd be a good, a good undertaking for us to do as a, as a donation, an in-kind donation. There's two different stones involved. There's St. Genevieve Rose from Missouri, and there's also some Roseal from, tennis, from Knoxville, Tennessee. And all of the stone has suffered some cracking. The, the joints have uh, spalled out. Uh, they need to be recalked, but the surface overall, from being exposed to the weather to 87 years of people's, you know, touching it with their with their greasy little hands, have left the stone really marred, scratched up, and and discolored. So we need to go in, remove the surface of the stone, bring it back up to a, a nice finish. We're not taking it to a polish because a polish really doesn't was not originally used probably, being in an exterior application. So we're abrading uh, 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 the surface, taking all the scratches out, and then touching up, filling in cracks, and uh, replacing broken pieces of stone. One of the bigger challenges was uh, finding the stone. The stone has been extinct for, uh, for quite a few years. Happily, we had some small pieces at the office that were left from another historical preservation work we had done for uh, Pinellas County. And uh, having that in-house so we can replace some pieces. There's a shelf on the interior that needs to be replaced. The, the structural stuff is probably the, the biggest challenge. The rest of it is just cosmetic. It's going to take us all together about 10 working days to, to complete the project. With an 87-year-old building, of course, there is always something that needs renovating, restorating, preservating. And with a project of this magnitude, there's not always the funds to be able to do it as fast as we want to or to the degree that we want to. So when folks like Mark and companies like Stored Mellon step in and offer to donate to us their time and their talent and their services to be able to preserve something uh, even as small as the box office, to its original look, its original finish, that is so invaluable to us because it's it's a project that may not have been top on the priority list for us if we were doing fundraising, but to have them step in and have the expertise and have the materials, have that original marble that this was originally constructed of and be able to step in and do that work for us, it's just amazing. I'm a downtown resident. I live right here on Harbor Island, and uh, I, 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 I utilize the Tampa Theater and all the other downtown areas very much. I'm a, I'm a real urbanite, and having a little part to, to do to, to, for the beautification is just it's very, very rewarding.